Well, hello and welcome. Now, this is Nate. It's not only one of my first times ever filming one of these models <clears throat> or one of these manufacturers. This is made by Jessup Housing or Jessup Homes, I should say. This is a four bedroom, two bath. This one's on the uh, mid level grade, so it's not super high end, not super low end. You've got a really nice master bathroom. It gives you a separate tub and tile shower. I don't know the square footage or the model name of this particular home just yet. I'll have that down in the description below. I'll have it come across the screen for you. <clears throat> so be looking for that. Now this one does have the vinyl siding and then the smart board up around your door area. And of course we've got the tin overhangs. Looks really good. Now a lot of these homes that have the vinyl siding have an option to have the smart board siding or hardy board siding, whichever they want to call it. Not all homes have that option. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you wanted to get this home, you could always uh, ask them if that is available with this one. And we are at Universal Manufactured Homes here in uh, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So like I said, check it out in the description below. There'll be a link to this home. And with that, we're gonna have to get inside before we get too long. So now as we're on the inside here, you can see you've got the six pane glass in your door. If I can get it to come in good enough. There we go. Of course, we got the ceiling fan. We've got the beams that run all the way across the ceiling. The built-in entertainment center in our living room. So now I was supposed to film with these guys yesterday. Manager was out at uh, a conference. <clears throat> and so uh, nobody knew that I was supposed to be filming here. And uh, so I had to come back the next day. And while I was uh, in the office waiting for the manager, because he was in a meeting at the time I showed up. So another guy come in and he's like, one of the professional guys at like manufacturedhomes.com or something like that. Here to take a bunch of pictures and do stuff with the homes also. So uh, <laughs> they're getting a lot of exposure today. But this living room looks really good. So I like the size of the living room. And then now we're going to swing over to the kitchen. Now, as you can tell, this is one of these open floor plans. We've got an electrical outlet in the island. A couple cabinets in the island also. Some really nice lights up here. Look really good. So now another thing I found was kind of funny was uh, was watching somebody else's video last night and he went into the shower and of course they had a really unique shower head. That was a really cool shower head by the way. Those of you who probably know which one I'm talking about. 
But it's funny as he called out the brand Pulse. And the ironic thing is I had just been calling out that brand on a couple of the shower heads that I filmed the day before. So I thought that was kind of ironic. So I don't know if that's a new brand that a lot of the manufacturers are starting to use. But I can tell you they got some really nice fixtures. So we got lots of cabinets in here. Of course most all your lighting is recessed and your vents are in the ceiling. Not a lot of drawers. In fact, I think that's the only stack of drawers I'm seeing so far. Now this is just a solid piece of Formica that they used for the backsplash. It looks really good. And then around this side, you've got the uh, white marbled uh, tile there. Let's not forget, you do get a pantry. Now I held off on the dining room because we do have this feature well and I wanted to make sure that uh, we got to kind of show it from this angle as we were coming back around. It looks really good. Now in here your lights don't run lengthwise with the dining room like some of them do. <clears throat> you just got one at each side. And from the dining room, I got to show you this hallway. Of course you probably saw it in the pictures at the beginning. So it's kind of a not narrow at all because I got elbows all the way out. And I'm not touching the wall. <laughs> like I re okay, there we go. I really had to stretch. Like I couldn't I could barely touch the sides of the walls with the elbows straight out like I'm trying to fly. <laughs> but you can see how wide this hallway gets. Like you could almost put yourself a desk right there. That way your kids can do the homework. And we've got walk-in closets, good size closet, nice and deep, plenty of room for storage down below. Instead of doing the zigzag this time, we're just going to come over to this bedroom here at the end. Now this one has all your trim supplies and that kind of stuff. Now, as I've pointed out before, you know, this uh, wall board or gypsum board, as they call it, is actually sheetrock, as you can see there. But uh, the factory that I was at, they do both sheetrock and gypsum board. Those will be coming out here before long, the tours of the factory. But he was pointing out that I don't know about these guys, I didn't measure it. It looked pretty thick though, but uh, instead of using the 3 8 gypsum board, they use half inch, just like your sheetrock would be. <clears throat> and I've seen that kind of in other homes too, where they use the really thick stuff. So it's just like having sheetrock, except it's just not tape and textured. But those videos that I'm referring to, 
the factory tour will be a, a four part series and they'll come out separate from the home tours themselves so you'll get I'll probably do one a month or something like that because uh, it's got like an hour and a half of, of a factory tour so a lot of editing going to be done on that one to kind of cut it down and make them presentable so this is our utility room here I know I've been rambling from the utility room here we can come into our guest bathroom with the one piece shower tub combo and we've got a really nice set of cubbies here I'm sure you can get doors to put on that so that you can make that into a linen closet or a linen cabinet I should say nice big window that opens up and we've got the dual sinks, nice stack of drawers, and so now we'll come and get this final bedroom. I guess I shouldn't say final bedroom because we do technically still have the master suite to go through. and the big reveal I suck at the big reveal <laughs> I never get the doors to open properly they go like part way and then they stop on me <laughs> oh well can't say I don't try for you right <laughs> I really like the size of this bedroom now, as I stated before, I've never filmed any Jessup homes before, so these are all new to me. And that's mostly all they carry here at uh, Universal Homes. So I'm getting to see kind of a variety of their styles. And this is a nice large closet with the dual racks at this end. And then a big long single rack. So water heater is going to be back behind there. I can see the screws that go all the way up. So you have to take that whole panel out to get the water heater. As we come into the bathroom, we've got a linen cabinet or linen closet. Looks like the same counter and almost exact same size as what was in the uh, guest bathroom. Maybe just a little bit bigger with the dual sinks, nice stack of drawers. Yo, Raiden, I am here. <laughs> and I wasn't really a hello Raiden but you know close enough right <laughs> I've been trying to change it up just a little bit he made the comment and of course that's why I started doing it he made the comment the other day that I do it the same every time so I figure why not change things up just a little bit. So we've got the dark gray tile in here 
that goes vertically versus horizontally. And then we're gonna finish up with the tub area. Nice big frosted glass window. And hopefully no frosty comments in the comment section. We wanna see the warm fuzzy comments. No, you don't have to be all warm and fuzzy. You can say whatever you want to say in the comments. Be honest. Do you like the home? What kind of changes would you like to see? What kind of upgrades would you like? And uh, while you're there, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Don't forget to share this home with your friends and family. Those that are looking and that kind of stuff. And I'll be back soon with some price information. Thanks for watching. Right. So, uh, what did you think of the, the uh, first Jessup home that I've been able to put out? Um, like I said, that one was uh, one of the first ones I've ever got to film by Jessup. Now, most of their homes, I've noticed looking at their web page and other web pages, you know, that carry Jessup homes or other dealers, I should say, most of Jessup homes are in that price range. They are the more mid-level homes. They're mostly all board and bat. And I did find some that are kind of half sheetrock, half board and bat. So, you know, so I'm not sure if that's just all the Jessup does or if they have some really high-end homes. I just haven't found them yet. We got to get some price information. Of course, I now I realize what shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> you know, Raiden got the drum head. We went to the concert. Raiden gets the drum head. And all I get is this lousy t-shirt. Go figure, right? Anyway, <laughs> price information on this home. We've got the you know June of 2023. This home was once again at Universal Manufactured Homes, Oklahoma City. So depending on where you have this home set up and delivered, there could be extra city fees, county fees, you know, different things that we can't always account for. So keeping all that kind of stuff in mind, the price that I have for this home. It's kind of varied because Universal doesn't want to give out specific pricing because of the variations in you know deliveries and things like that. But I've found it for as little as 144,000 for this exact model up to 160,000. So with that said though, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you're hitting the like button, subscribe button, all that kind of stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.